I believe that the target is certainly reachable, uh, sustainable energy for all, you reachable of course not in a few years but at least uh, 20 years time we can uh, uh, provide energy to all population, to one billion population that doesn't have energy today. However, uh, two conditions are certainly important. The first one are resources. Uh, we need to deploy uh, enough resources to reach a target, otherwise enough investments to reach a target, otherwise it will not be feasible, not even in 20 years' time. And the second important precondition is sustainability. The target can be reached, of course, but should be reached uh, in a sustainable way. And here, uh, renewable resources play a major role. Of course, it's not the only kind of uh, energy source that need to be used for energy access and to alleviate energy poverty, but we need to focus on uh, renewable resources for this development, for this major change in our economies to be fully sustainable. And uh, results, important results, have already been achieved because in many countries, uh, the global resources, wind and solar in particular, are the major component of a change in habits, in change of uh, traditions, in change of course of ways in which uh, energy is used by local populations. I'm not thinking of Africa, I'm thinking of uh, Asian regions, Sub-Saharan Africa in particular, in which heating and cooking have been modified by using uh, renewable resources as a major source of energy and by solving a lot of problems which are not related only to the way in which energy is used, but are related to the way in which the community works and the impacts of the different energy sources or the way in which energy is used on uh, health. And I think that solving health problems implies solving social problems and implies enhancing the possibility for development in these uh, communities and of course in these countries as a consequence. Energy efficiency is, is another major component of uh, uh, access for all. Uh, we need to distinguish uh, the situation in very poor countries in which there is no energy at all. It's, it's a large fraction of the world population. It's about 80% of the world population that doesn't have any access to energy. In this case, of course, without any access to energy, uh, the major goal is to provide electricity in other energy sources to this population and again, going back to the previous question, renewables uh, play a major role. But in, in the case of those populations who have poor access to energy, or uh, have access to energy in uh, situations in which uh, uh, energy provision is, re is really limited, energy efficiency can really uh, uh, play a major role. There is another component of the problem that may, that may be underrepresented in many cases when dealing with energy efficiency, which is the the role of investments in energy, in the energy sector, which is really large, but is, is poorly devoted, limited, uh, in a very limited way devoted to, um, to energy poverty. Energy efficiency can uh, be a way to free resources worldwide, to reduce energy consumption worldwide, in particular in uh, developed countries, and to move these resources to other objectives, in particular to uh, access to energy in poor countries. So there will be a switch a transfer of resources from developed to, energy, to, energy, to, to poor countries, to developed to developing countries, which is possible thanks to the major improvement in energy efficiency that we're going to face in the coming years.